Happy Friday the 13th, and today I'm going to be telling you what second chance you are based off of your zodiac sign. Now, I do just want to preference, this is going to be chock full of spoilers. So if you haven't played all the games, or if you're worried about a game being spoiled, stop watching. Sorry, just, just stop watching. First up, Aries. Aries, you love diving headfirst into a challenge. You love being number one. You love competition. You don't shy away from the hard things. That is why you are one of the last, if not the last second chance scene in Icicle Creek Lodge where you're chasing the uh, villain or the culprit on the snowmobile. I absolutely hate that second chance scene. And specifically, you're that second chance scene when you played it on the Wii because the Wii controller, it was really bad. Like we did our best, but it was so hard. Next, Tauruses. Now, Tauruses, through um, my very minimal research, um, very minimal research on the internet, Tauruses, you guys love all things luxury, luxury. So, Swedish massages, decadent dessert spreads, which is why your second chance scene is one of my personal favorite second chance scenes. And that is when Nancy chooses to eat the decadent sausages in Phantom Venice, and that's what does her in. So, Tauruses, watch out. That lifestyle of yours, it it just may be your undoing. All right, Geminis, you are an air sign. You're very curious. If you could clone yourself and have that help you with all of your projects, you would, which is why your second chance scene is towards the very, very end in Curse of Blackmore Manor when you're playing with the air sign puzzles and there's like that big strong robot man thing. You all know what I'm talking about. And if you get caught by the wrong blow of air, he basically runs over and crushes you. And that's your second chance scene. So your little curiosity and your clone is what did you win. Next up, Cancers. Now Cancers, you're a crab. So obviously your second chance scene is when you give the wrong crab too many times to Holt. That triggers a second chance scene, right? I, I very much could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it triggers a second chance scene and that's yours. Leos, you're very dramatic. You're very dramatic. I feel like you guys probably cry a lot, right? Or, I don't know, I just, very dramatic. Which is why you're the most dramatic second chance scene and that is Shorty kicking us out for picking too many or too many unripe vegetables or missing the ripe vegetables, just that whole thing. Screams dramatic. Shorty has never been under dramatic a day in his life. All right, Virgos, you guys are very systematic. You are very logical and everything kind of has to be like by the rules and follow something. That is why you are the exploding chemicals, specifically the exploding water in Deadly Device. Because if you don't follow the chemical mixing recipes to a T, meaning even if you just pour water in a beaker and walk away, it explodes, which shouldn't happen. But because you didn't follow the rules, you didn't follow the logic of the puzzle, that's why you died. So 100% Virgos, you are the exploding chemical scene in de uh, Deadly Device. Now Libras, the best sign ever. I am a Libra, in case you're wondering. Libras, the best sign ever. Our second chance scene is in Tomb of the Lost Queen when Dylan is trapped behind the cave that kind of crumbled in or not the cave the pyramid and we have to move all the things and create a balance and harmony so that Dylan can get air and get out and it doesn't crumble and crush him crush us because Libras are all about balance and equilibrium and we just strive to create balance in everywhere in our lives which is why we're the best sign <laughs> All right, so again, Scorpios, I had to do a little bit of research for you because I was not super familiar with your sign, but from my minimal research, I have learned that Scorpios are very loyal and very passionate, and sometimes that can be a good or a bad thing. So that is why Scorpios, your second chance scene is in Ghost of Thornton Hall, when uh, if you choose the conversation option to threaten Jessalyn and tell her you're gonna tell everyone where Jessalyn is, Harper will kill you. She is extremely loyal to Jessalyn and their quest that they're on, and you're not going to get in her way. Sagittariuses. Now, Sagittariuses, you all have a very strong sense of what is right and wrong. You're very adventurous, and you want to teach others 
what you believe is right and wrong. And so that is why your second chance scene is honestly one of the most iconic second chance scenes, in my opinion, in all of Nancy Drew, which is when Nancy gets knocked out, tied up, and thrown in a burning shed in Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. And yet somehow the fire is uh, her fault, according to uh, Jeff Akers. And especially if you don't get out in time, not only does the shed burn down, but the whole forest burns down and it's still your fault. Capricorn, so what is your biggest resource, the thing you value most? Your time, patience, and dedication. So what would be the absolute worst puzzle for you? Any sort of timed puzzle, any sort of timed puzzle that makes you make frantic and very quick decisions. So the worst puzzle, the worst second chance scene for you of all time would then be an alibi in ashes when you are trapped in the burning courthouse um, or a town hall and you have to make a makeshift mountain to quickly climb up over to get out of the room and then quickly crawl through the town hall and figure out how to get out. So it's just like two super timed puzzles that are very chaotic. Your worst nightmare. Now Aquarius. Aqua water is literally even in your name. I'm ignoring that you're an air sign. I know that, but we're focusing on water. What is a more iconic second chance scene than when Nancy is drowned by a ghost in Shadows at the Water's Edge? And what's kind of even cooler, we don't really get an explanation. Did the culprit do that? Or are ghosts real? Ooh, I don't know. But what more iconic water death is there? And finally, Pisces, y'all are very creative, but you struggle to live within someone else's like vision or you really struggle when there is a box and you're supposed to live within that realm. And so that's why I couldn't give you guys just one second chance scene. Instead, you are every single second chance scene in Shattered Medallion because you're Sunny June. You just you cannot live within any sort of reality that makes sense and that's why you're just all the second chance scenes of shattered medallion because every single time they all kind of left us going but like how did instead of going from a to b to c we went from like a to yellow to the number six what